was actually the, the local primary school um, back home in, in Clanford, County Galway. Uh, our principal was, was big into sport and I think the rule was at the time maybe if you didn't play hurling at lunchtime you had to do laps of the field so uh, that was my first memories of it. I started in second or third class and then after playing the school started playing at my local club which was Mila Gerker at the time. I was on the Underdogs team in 2005, I uh, got a phone call from uh, Cahill Moore at the time who was a selector on, on the Underdogs uh, team and asked me to come along down to, down to Limerick for trials. The show was set up for anyone who hadn't made, uh, played senior inter inter-county hurling and uh, so I went along anyway to see what it's all about and eventually ended up making the squad, actually ended up caps captaining the team and it was, a, it was a huge experience. We played Kilkenny then, uh, I think it was a, a cold December. Sunday uh, in Nolan Park and uh, it was on TG Gahar obviously and I think we lost by six points that day I think I was marking I think it might have been Owen Reid and Chaffas Patrick and got a brief stint on Tommy Walsh at the time when he was up in the forward so uh, it was a huge experience and it was, it was uh, you know we'd like to see Shane McGrath play on that team and uh, I think uh, we had there was uh, Davy Canning, Ollie Canning's brother would have been playing and Michael Grace went on to win a couple of Ireland's with Patrick Kenny. So guys like that, you know, you know, made made a bit, a bit of a breakthrough from from that, and it was a, it was a very, definitely a, a very enjoyable experience. Probably still happen lives down. Is probably still lads we would refer back to it. You know, about you know we did a, I think we did a, a naked calendar there for it as well, and I think uh, went badly wrong. I remember when Gerald Knan took over the, the Galway squad, that was in 2006, 2007, I was on the, the, the training squad and um, did a lot of work there for three months and, um, you know, didn't didn't make it, the bottom line, you know, got cut and, you know, at 24, 25 years of age, you're thinking this is my last chance and it was around 2008, um, I was working with, uh, I still am working with Kilmichael Croaks as a full-time coaching officer and I uh, just decided to, to give it a go to the club up in Dublin because of travelling commitments and work commitments. So I uh, got a call then from Tommy Nocton in 2008 after the league was finished to see what it come in and play a few games and that's where it started. And then uh, when Anthony Daly came in and decided to keep me on and uh, you know it's just, it's just been uh, like that ever since. Wexford probably should, should have beaten us uh, in, the, in that game in, in Wexford Park. We probably got a lot, of, a lot of criticism for that game, but you know, anyone that goes to Wexford Park and expects to win easily, you know, it doesn't happen. And uh, fair play to Wexford, you know, they put it up to us. Uh, we, we probably, we just probably got better from those games, you know, in Parnell Park to get that win, and then to those games against Lee Kenny. As I said, the key for us was just focus on performance and not, not, and not the outcome. And you know, every individual had to get the best out of himself and collectively. If that was good enough, that was good enough. If it wasn't, well, then it wasn't good enough. We go back to the drawing board. And I think that's where it came from. Um, the confidence we got from that first game against Kenny was huge. And maybe if people had written us off and said our chance is gone, you know, we knew we, if we could produce that again, we knew we were in with a shout. And thankfully, you know, it worked out. Uh, you know, the goal again, uh, very hard to explain. Maybe things just clicked on the day. Uh, you know, lads you know, really played well. Our forwards, the work rate of our forwards again, it was just phenomenal. And I think that's been the key for us. You know, I think it's easy for a back to clear a ball when the, when, the, when our forwards are putting that much pressure, you know, up front. And it's, it, I think, the work rate and the attitude has been completely different this year. And I think that's that's one of the keys for us. I think my mother was, was on the Dublin side, so it's not too bad. But I know the family were, you know, were, were all on my side, thankfully. And. Uh, I got a text from a lot of my friends saying, you know, we were shouting for goal, but best of luck to you anyway, you know, so it was that sort of banter going on, but you, you never like to, 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 to meet your home county and beat them in the final, and, you know, we were beaten uh, by Kilkenny twice, and as you find, we know what it feels like, uh, so it's never easy, and, you know, I've, I've heard of the likes of Fergal and Damien Hayes and these guys, you know, going up through the ranks, so, you know, I know, I know them quite well, and it's never nice to pause meet them and have to beat them. It's a tough question, a lot of lads now might be sitting there. <laughs> Uh, I wouldn't. Uh, maybe I, I, I'd keep to the front of the bus the whole time. So any of the, any of the, the boys on the back, I keep away from. I like to just be focused up, up front and have my earphones in. So I'd probably just like sit by, sitting by myself sometimes. You know, I'm, I think I think they've taken me in. But yeah, at first I suppose the the, the country accent, you know, would get a bit of a slagging. But uh, it's been easier for me now since Daly's come in. Like you know, the focus is on him. So I've, I'm thankfully you got away from it.